Going to all of my nice and decent people out there, to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. Now, today I want to go ahead and talk about some things in dancehall. Cause dancehall is the thing that you know it is the main thing that I think about all day. Music is is my life. You know what I mean? Um. There is a big topic, there's a big issue, there's a big subject that everybody's talking about right now, and one of the big things that everyone is talking about is the fact that um, they feel that, you know, um, how dancehall is not getting the respect that it should get it, it should get the light that it should be getting. But it seems like it's not getting it, and the reason why I, I know this is why. Yesterday I went ahead and I put up a video and the video is the BET past the mic of the dance hall greats and uh, you know dance hall greats you know um, it was Tanto Metro, Shaka Dimas and Pliers, uh, Junior Reed, Shaggy, um, Sister Nancy, um, Kebutan, Barrington Levi, holy pop people, man. Look vicious, right? And snow as well. And one thing that I noticed with all those people that I see on the Pastor Mike, and I seen on the Pastor Mike the previous time, the previous time that they had the Pastor Mike, that was the Beanie Man, Born to Killer, Shensia, um, Coffee. And um, ZJ Liquid, right? And uh, with them, uh, with those people, one thing that they have in common is that they are all doing music that even had Super Cat on Pastor Mike as well, right? And, and I'm gonna get to that later. Cause one of the biggest things that I'm, I want to go ahead and talk about is the fact that you know when when am I going with it past the mic? When am I going with it with it? Um, oh, dance! I'll not make it. Tell me, I wonder why this and that and so on and so forth and why it's not doing what it should be doing. Right? First of all, let me tell you something. People of the world. And the music will make it if the music is accepted by white people. It's just, that, that's the way it goes. Hip-hop would not be the way it is. Hip-hop would never be what it what it is right now, creating billionaires. Right now, we have at least two billionaires in hip-hop, right? Downtown would never create a, 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 um, a reggae would never create a billionaire, right? In a span of a decade or two decades, it would never happen, right? A even even um, Bob Marley, and I will go ahead and make the point that I'm talking about right now, and I want you to just listen to me very carefully. And if you don't believe me, you go ahead and you do your own study, you do your own research, you go ahead and go look back, and you see all the people that I'm talking about, right? Right now, Shensi is, is set to be the next motherfucking um, dancehall um, queen, and she I go make it and be big, right? Spice have our time, Spice I do our thing, Sean Paul, Shaggy Island people, right? One thing that they all have in common is somehow white people hear their music, heard their music and like it. It doesn't matter about the language, it doesn't matter about this year. People say, Oh yeah, about the language and about the violence and about this and about that. No, it has nothing to do with none of that shit. 
Most of the hip hop artists that you see today have millions and millions of dollars in their pockets, right? Some of them don't, a few of them do. Some of them, at the very least, can't go ahead and make a good living where they can buy a house for themselves, maybe one and two cars, maybe three, maybe some gold chain here and there, and save some money and, may, and also being able to invest, take care of their family, and so on and so forth. And also look out for people from, you know, the ghetto where they come from, right? So, of course, you know, that, that is the commonality with the, with the hip-hop, with the dancehall, with the reggae, with the Afrobeats, with the, um, with the reggaeton, is that it's all coming from a, a ghetto type of, of music, right? Right? And it's people talking about the struggle, where they come from, who they are, the neighborhood, you know, what they feeling, you know, and what, what reggae and dancehall don't do and don't want to do and will never do and is that a bad thing no it's definitely not a bad thing you know you make music for those who want to hear the music you make music for those for yourself you make music for your audience your fans you don't conform and change yourself and switch yourself to um, to conform to a, a particular a particular um, likeness, right? You know, and especially in this day and age where everybody wants to go with Instagram and Twitter and so on and social media, everything is about yo, yo, I'm gonna want to like me, yo, you have to like me, you have to like me, you have to like me for this and that and so on and so forth, yo. Nobody don't give a fuck about that. Some people do, especially young people, them, they do care about that, yes. But young people, what you need to listen to and what you want to, if you want to make it where the argument across dance on the reggae right now and want to make it to United States, get the Grammy, be televised. I, mean, I hear Shaggy talking about not even being televised. And they kind of gave him his Grammy. They basically give him a disrespect and give him a Grammy on in the back door. Kind of open up the door and just give him a Grammy and say, come on, all right. And then that's it. That's all he can get. Right? And they're not going to get that if you don't have enough dance hall artists, enough reggae artists who want to cross over. You know what crossover mean? Crossover don't mean being in America only crossover mean a culture that is I don't know you know but you know, you have to you know uh, I, one thing I will say about Dan Solo Reggae is it's unapologetic for the music that they make and the content that they push and push out you know and because of that that's why dancehall will not create the generating of money to garnish the, the 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 attention of white people to put more money on it to and for it to progress into the mainstream uh, if anybody doesn't understand what mainstream means, right? As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and look this up. You know, because um, that is one of the things that we, as a, a as people, we throw around this, we throw around this terminology all the time, but. We throw around terminology about things, but don't necessarily understand what it means. Okay, mainstream is the ideas, attitudes, or activities that are regarded as normal or conventional. The dominant trend in opinion, fashion, or 
the arts. Companies that are bringing computers to the mainstream of American life. Okay, so American life means is a mixture of different people and cultures. But mainstream is the main population of America. Although America is a melting pot, a melting pot of individuals from all over the world, most of them in this country, over 200 million people of this country out of 380 something million, right? Over 200, 200 million of those people are from European descent or European American. And what I mean by European American, Caucasian individual, people from England, from Germany, from France, descendants of Italy, so on and so forth, Greek, and you know, go right down the line, right? After that, you know, we would have your Hispanics who are about 16%. And as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and give you the breakdown on that because I may be wrong for because I looked at this before, but because you look at things and um, it may have changed, right? Um, so let me go ahead and look at this and I'll break it down. And I can tell you by it says that 57% of people are white. 18% is Hispanic. 12.4% is black. So I was kind of kind of close. It kind of went up. It was 16%. Now it's 18.7%. 12% is 12.4% um, is black and 6% of that is Asian. So if you break it down by, by the population, it breaks down where it shows that most of the population is white people. So, the only way you can become mainstream is if you mainstream, you gear your music, your marketing towards that entity, towards that population. And make them believe that that pop, that music, that product, that service that you are trying to showcase to the mass, right, will be accepted by white people. But because most of us in the dance or industry, whether it be sm um, small. Or, you know, those who are on the lower rung, my, I myself, I would say I would, am on the lower rung, you know, to those who are the top of the top, right? And we are delusioned to believe that we can do things the same way without changing and not trying to gear our music towards white people and think that it's gonna it's gonna make it it can but it will continue to be underground right now that's what dancehall is dancehall and reggae is underground on one who who make it to the top and make millions and still making millions to this day has been dead since 1981 and since last year, you know, still sold 4 million copies. Still is the top streaming artist of all time. You know why? And I want you to go ahead and look back. And if you don't believe me, I want you to go back. I look back. I look by, by my, I look by, I like to interview them. I read this book. When Bob Marley go ahead and... And he started doing his tours and he started interview and everything. You know, interview with him, never interview with all of 
Jamaican people in Canada and United States and you know the Caribbean people them all over you know you do in go LA in go Sweden in go England you know, look at all of the, the um big near big um interview we have on YouTube or wherever all of them all of them are real white people we interview him since where the you see Spice go pun, Spice go pun, Jimmy Kimball or uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon or whatever it was, right? She go on there with with um Sean Paul and she go on there with with Shaggy. Although Sean Paul and Shaggy them have them own pull. I know what I mean when I say pull. They have them them are yeah them are their top shatter when it come to dancehall, right? And it come to the, when them drop music, the music I go get it. I go get a certain type of view, and they go gonna a certain type of, you know, I I look upon them, you know, it's gonna get that. Why? Because they they have garnered their music to was it something I, I i don't i don't i don't think that it was something that they did purposely i really don't think that it is something that they did purposely but it happened that way um, once they were able to get the attention of those the white people listening to it, those music that's it that's it once that happened you made it and if you get an opportunity, don't make that opportunity pass you by to work with some uh, white individual to get uh, do a commercial, build a relationship, so on and so forth. See, man, like being a man, born to killer, you know, born to killer, he do his work. If you listen, if you listen to the Grammy that Bounty Killer get, but Grammy he can get the Grammy, right? He's working with no doubt, right? If you watch um, Beanie Man and the music where him do, and him get a Grammy feat, he got a Grammy because he was seen and grab the attention of white people. Sean Paul, same thing. Shaggy, shit, same thing. Shaggy still, still I do, um, still I get commercials for the song. It wasn't me. He got the attention of white people. Is this wrong? It may be. Is this controversial? It may be. Is this is this right? It may be. But listen to me, and I'm going to tell you, for those who don't understand, you don't have to do it. And I don't want, you know, anybody to, you know, basically, I think that's what people mean when they say, sell their soul to the devil. That I think that's what they mean when they say, sell their soul to the devil. Not necessarily that white people are devils. Not necessarily that, you know, that... If you gain the attention of white people listening to your music, that now you're sold out. At one point, even hip hop, that was the case. If you went mainstream, you were selling out. And people used to say you sold your soul to the devil. MC Hammer, you know, look at this. Run DMC. If you don't know anything about history of, of, of hip hop, and when you go back and you listen to um, um watch some videos on Ron DMC. As a matter of fact, I'm going to look at some links, put some links down below. Listen. Ron DMC, they made a they went ahead and they um did a video with Aerosmith. Right? They did a song with Aerosmith. Aerosmith didn't want them to do the music. Ron DMC didn't want to do the music. It worked out. Ron DMC to this day is still one of the biggest hip hop acts ever. Right? Because mixing them goes with the white people. Once you get that, you mainstream. MC Hammer can't touch this. 
Once he got that, that was it. Vanilla ice. Snow. 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 You see, Snow is up. They put him on Pastor Mike. Snow have um, in Farmer. That's it. And he did the song with, um, he did the song, in the, it was like a medley with um, Bujabanta and, and can't remember the name of that song right now. If anybody can go ahead and uh, look it up for me. As a matter of fact, I will go ahead and look it up right now. And see when uh, it's a snow song um, with um, Buju and it had Beanie Man and it have, um, Nothing selling anything for you, right? You know, I, I Terra Fabulous Lou Culture did their party too, right? Terra Fabulous was on the past of Mike as well, right? And they had a song with Nadine Sutherland, but um, of, of course, everybody know the song, song, big, 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 big tune, right? You know, people can only fall for tunes like that for a long time. They all have that same thing, they went mainstream. That is a goal. It's a goal. Mainstream. Everybody's talking about Shinsia and say Shinsia and now go make it and Shinsia this and she that and so on and so forth. But Shinsia doing the right thing. Shinsia want to be bigger than where she come from. Shinsia want to be the next person that artists, female artists, dancer artists look up to and say, yo, that's the track that I want to go to. The only way she can do it is doing exactly what she's doing right now. Some of this song that when she come out with, everybody want to jump on him. I say, oh, yeah, it's not doing the, the, the um, it's not doing the, the, the things, the numbers that it's supposed to do. Everything is not about numbers. Everything is not always about numbers. Fuck the numbers, yo. May I tell you that, yo? Hey, fuck the numbers. You know, you know what, what will happen right now, 10 years from now? When Shinsia uh, sit there on top, and all those people that she did songs with, she have a relationship with. She can go back and go do a song with them later. And because she have a relationship with somebody, she can go back and go do a relationship with another person. All right, so we make the long story short. Man, I'm go ahead and cut this for now. We can come back to it if we want, but you know. All I had to say is, dancehall will never be mainstream. Dancehall is not gonna be mainstream unless we have enough people where we can stand up and make make mainstream artists and make enough money. Right now, we have a handful of people where I make make big big money. You have Shaggy, you have Sean Paul. Now we have Coffee. I said she had come up and spice. She just had tried to do something. You know, she did that business for all long now, 20 years. You know, being a man, that's really it. Right? That's really it. Other than that, we can even look at and, um, um, uh, and, and Bob Marley. I, I Bob Marley no, we know Bob Marley, we call no no new um, tune since 1981. Or, you know, before and get sick, and the last time you go in the studio before you get sick and die. That's it. And I, I want to say the last record record where him do was um, Iron like a lion in Zion. That was the last tune with Bob Marley do. You know, other than that, can even look for the next reggae artist where we can where we can see consistently drop whole heap of music. And drop uh, and and do do them thing, you know. Since she she try to do her thing. Hopefully, Spice will continue doing her thing. And if not, she have the one song where she have go down there with um Shaggy and Sean Paul. And then after that, it's the same thing. It's just one 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 one. Everybody have a one one. Shaka Dimas and Plies have one song, you know. Sister Nancy one song. Uh, Snow, one song. Cableton, one song. You know, uh, I'm a forget. How, how could I forget? One of the biggest one, uh, 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 Shabba. You know, Shabba, Shabba the king, man. 
you know, that would be one that we could look at and say he definitely was the one who kind of make a big thing. You know, and that's another thing people don't want to mess with dancehall artists. If dancehall artists still are deal with it, oh yeah, I'm gonna want want to alienate alienate people. In this time in this council culture, you know, and it started from way back when. You know, you can't alienate people. What you believe, what you believe, you know, a lot of us may believe. Uh, a lot of people may believe a certain thing, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about, you know, not everybody can take the truth, not everybody can take, you know, because the truth is, is not the same as facts, the truth is not the same as facts, the truth is only good when uh, multiple people, the majority of people agree with that same truth. And that shifts the truth. The truth that happened, the truth that that everybody agreed upon and everybody believed in centuries ago is not the same thing that stands today. It's not the same thing that stands today. So, you know, sometimes things have to shift. Everybody has to shift and change them culture. Change the idea of the culture. Culture has to shift. The culture can't stay one place and then society and everybody moving on. But the culture is still here. The culture is still not move. The culture still stay right here and everybody else is moving. We still on 1930 with the, with the ideas and the culture and everybody are moved to, you know, 2022 now. You know? That, that's, that's, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Well, until next time, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.